Coming up on Case and Weekend News, the San Angelo Police Department hosted their annual holiday event at Walmart. Then, San Angelo State Park is hosting an event tonight. We'll have more details on that. And Snapchat photos from a few high school students causes turmoil on campus. Now, from San Angelo's News Channel, this is your KSAN Weekend News. Good evening. Thanks for tuning in to KSAN News. I'm Mark Brown. Walmart on West 29th Street hosted its annual Blue Santa event this morning. This event is targeted towards elementary students where police officers take kids out shopping for gifts. San Angelo Police Officer Raymond Francis says it's their way of giving back to the community. The smiles, there's a lot of laughs. It's just a great time for everybody. It's our way of giving back to the community and helping out people that need the help. There were two groups of kids that participated in the Operation Blue Santa Shop with the cop. The first group met at 9.30 and the second group met at 11.30. Once again, Christmas comes early tonight at San Angelo State Park, so saddle up and prepare for the masterpiece. For their annual holiday event, the park will be having a campground light tour, s'mores, and plenty more. The event will last until 8 p.m., and staff wants to remind everyone that it is free to the public. Here, we're going to have Santa Claus here. We're going to have Sparky from the Great Creek Volunteer Fire Department. He'll be out here. We're going to have a hayride. We're going to have uh, hot chocolate, games, uh, decorated ornaments. Uh, the choir from the State Supported Living Center is going to be out here. To participate, enter from the Southside Gatehouse located at 362 South FM 2288. Please keep in mind, especially with it still getting dark fairly early, to drive slowly on park roads. For more information, you can call 325-949-4757. Again, that is 325-949-4757. The death of a Central Texas man by police is gaining national attention. 28-year-old Michael Dean of Temple was shot and killed by Temple Police by a Temple Police officer on December 2nd. With few details available from the Temple Police Department, his family and the community are left wondering why he was shot in the first place. From the Washington Post to the New York Times, people across the nation are beginning to chime in on Dean's death. Protesters marched at the Temple Police Headquarters Thursday evening to demand answers. We're not facing this just off of, of, of a race thing. Uh, this is a character thing. This is a character judgment to where something happened, something transpired, and we want to make sure that our local law enforcement is equipped, is, is trained, and is educated to handle situations such as that. Many are asking why police never provided Dean's family with real answers other than the Texas Rangers are investigating. Dean's family members said they are still waiting to receive his body so they can lay him to rest. A Snapchat photo led to the lockdown of several schools in Texas Friday. Now four high school students are in police custody. Officials say a student posted an image of someone with a gun in his waistband in the Grapevine High School cafeteria. According to investigators, police later found the gun in a student's backpack. Police arrested two 17-year-old boys and two other juveniles. They faced several charges, including a terroristic threat, criminal trespass, possession of a firearm in school zone, and possession of marijuana. At one point, Grapevine High School, Timberline Elementary School, and Cross Timbers Middle School all went into lockdown. Get your frosting fix. Today is National Cupcake Day. Fun fact, the sweet treat was originally known as the 1, 2, 3, 4 cake as a simple way to remember the basic recipe. One cup of butter, two cups of sugar, three cups of flour, and four eggs. In the 19th century, most cupcakes were either vanilla or chocolate. The small cakes have since evolved, and you can get just about any flavor of cupcake now. In 2011, the Guinness World Records said the world's largest cupcake weighed more than 2,000 pounds and 36 inches tall. No word on who came up with National Cupcake Day or why December 15th was chosen as the designated day, but they should definitely be thanked. Were you the one that baked that 2,000-pound cupcake, Aaron? No, no, that wasn't me. Uh, I don't have an oven big enough for that, <laughs> unfortunately. I mean, I do, I do, I do like wine. cupcakes. Yes, we should have um, baked some. We had not pizza, big though. on the icing, though. I'm not real big on, yeah. you know, a whole lot of icing. It kind of takes away from the cupcake. It does. So. <laughs> well, that's all for today's newscast. Thanks for tuning in to KSN Weekend News. Have a good night. News Channel. This is your KSAN Weekend News. So, Aaron, what's up with the weather? <laughs> well, you know, it's fairly warm. It's been fairly warm today. And looking at our seven-day forecast, it's going to be fairly warm again tomorrow on your Sunday. But hey, sunshine.
cold front comes through Sunday into early Monday morning, and that brings our temperatures back down into the 50s, and then overnight lows in the 30s, upper 20s for us through the middle of next week. Another brief cold front comes through. You're really not going to notice much other than maybe a shift in the winds Thursday into Friday, but then the sun comes back for the weekend, so we'll be watching for that sunshine throughout the rest of that seven day. Almost felt like summer today. It was extremely, it felt hot outside. Oh, yeah, definitely <laughs> did. Yeah, yeah, that's Texas for you. So that's all for KSN News. Be sure to join us again tonight at 10. See you then.